today I'm gonna to be reviewing the Lawnmower Man movie and Super NES video game. We got a two for two here, guys. I'm going all out. I'll start with the movie. So this is very, very loosely based on a Stephen King novel of shorts. And from what I hear, it's nothing like it. The movie stars Jeff Fahey and Pierce Brosnan. Pierce Brosnan's character is this really smart scientist who's working on this new virtual reality system. But then he meets this guy played by Jeff Fahey, who is a lawnmower man. And He's very slow and not very intelligent. And Pierce Brosnan decides to be like, you know what, do you want to try this virtual reality system? And Jeff Fahey's he's like, yeah, sure, dude, whatever. And he does, and gradually, the more Pierce Brosnan does these experiments, the smarter Jeff Fahey's character becomes. He literally becomes a different person. He starts out as a very slow guy, and before you know it, he's on intelligence level with Pierce Brosnan's character. And at that point, his character realizes, oh crap, we're in trouble. There's also this crazy virtual reality. And this is 1992 virtual reality. So you might not be impressed now, but I saw this in the theater as a kid three times and I was blown away. Anji at the time were like, what the hell am I looking at? This is beautiful. Now it looks dated, I get it. And Pierce Brosnan um, realizes Jeff Fahey's character is going nuts and is becoming really bad and is gonna start taking over the world. And Pierce Brosnan has to stop this because what he created is now becoming the smart thing that is gonna take over the world. So he has to stop it. And Jeff Fahey is gonna go full virtual reality. He's going fully into the virtual reality system. And he's this crazy CGI character and Pierce Brosnan and the guy have to fight at the end, blah, blah, blah. I know these effects look terrible if I'm just putting them here, but trust me, 1992, this looked amazing. I thought the movie was really great at the time. I loved it as a kid, watching it now doesn't hold up as well. Um, I would give this three out of five lawnmowers. Now, let's cut to the video game. Let's see how this one is. How's my hair looking today? Is it okay? I parted it different if you haven't noticed. It's a little, my hair's like puffy today. It's like it's so nice having natural hair, you know? The game starts out and it's informing you we're gonna be uh, experiencing some crazy virtual reality. All right, it could be Pierce Brosnan's character or Jeff Fahey's character, I'm gonna go for Pierce, all right? So you're a little guy, but man, it's kind of cool so far. The gameplay actually is very smooth. You're kind of like contra size, if I can compare it to a game, right? Already at the first part, exit. Oh, I'm already frustrated by this game. Why do I torture myself with playing video games when I'm not even that good at them? I'm already dead. These guys are kicking my ass. I just realized you just have to shoot the axis, granted points. I, I'm, I'm just starting, guys. All right, all right, I remember this part about this game. This is cool. Like, we're going into 1992 virtual reality. Here we go. Whoa, whoa. But I'm, I'm digging this part. This is, I'm ready for 1992 virtual reality. Here we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Flying through the levels. I, I love this part of the game. This is fun. This is 1992, like, virtual reality stuff. Whoa, oh, I'm doing pretty good, okay. Anyways, I'm digging this part. So as I play further through the game, like it's getting harder and harder, but it, it's fun. It's catchy. Once you go through all these virtual reality scenes, the game's not amazing. The graphics are decent. I mean, this is Super Nintendo 1992. I mean, they do a great job. Uh, overall, I think the game's kind of fun. I'd give it three out of five lawnmower mans. Anyways, check out our channel. I hope you had a good time watching the video and I'll check you guys out later.